Hello, my name is Megan Tesseldar and this is my Capstone Experience final video presentation. I began my journey at Azusa Pacific University in the fall of 2013. I had just graduated with my Bachelor's of Arts degree in Literature and Writing from Cal State University, San Marcos. After I graduated, I decided to travel the world. I traveled from San Marcos, California to Germany, to Beirut, Lebanon, to London, and then to Carlsbad, California. In Carlsbad, I took a job working for Callaway Golf where I ordered the clubs for all of our touring professionals. After taking this year off, I decided it was time for me to go back to school and Azusa Pacific University was the logical choice. I decided to enroll in August of 2013 and the Digital Teaching and Learning Master's program was not a difficult decision for me. I knew when I started Azusa Pacific University that my end goal would be to achieve both my master's degree and my single subject credential in English. When I started this program, I was student teaching at Heritage High School for seniors. Luckily, I then got a job as a full-time teacher at Paris High School teaching juniors and sophomores. As an educator, I feel that I have grown immensely since the start of my time at APU. When I started teaching, I was fairly uncomfortable in the classroom and was worried about taking risks. Throughout this past year, I have grown confident, not only in myself, but in my teaching abilities. I have come to understand that I am capable of much more than I ever thought I was. From managing a classroom of 40 sophomores the day before spring break, to helping one student who couldn't grasp the concept of a metaphor, I have seen myself handle many challenges that I would have been afraid to try a year ago. One of the highlights for my time at Azusa Pacific University was my EDUC 515 class where I learned about creating websites and blogs, which I then used in my classroom both for myself and my students. I created a classroom blog with quick educational videos that I shot using information I learned from EDUC 514 as well as put up different resources that worked with different intelligences, which I also learned from EDUC 522. Because of these advancements in my learning, which I credit to Azusa Pacific's digital teaching and online learning degree, I feel that my students were able to learn the material more thoroughly and I am confident working with and incorporating new digital strategies into my classroom. The Action Research Project was an interesting part of my Capstone Experience class. Because it is the summer, I do not have a class in session, so I decided to do my action research project on something a little bit closer to home. Saving money that is something that is difficult for many people. I recently got engaged this past year, and we purchased a house together. We are no longer responsible for ourselves, but for paying for a wedding, as well as our new house. Since there are so many major changes occurring in my life right now, I have come to the realization that I need to be saving money since I will be finishing my master's program this semester and my loans will be starting to require payment within the next six months. Because of these loans and our new bills, we decided to start putting money aside for a rainy day fund. This inspired my research action question of, can my fiance and I save at least $1,000 a month between the two of us utilizing the daily saving strategy we created. I implemented this strategy on June 16th of 2015. I created a set of craft sticks with numbers 3 through 32 on each individual one. Every day we would pull a stick and whatever the amount was, we would transfer that into a joint savings account. By the end of this project, we had made $525 each, or $1,050 total, which was actually $50 more than we were expecting to make. We created a chart to map our daily savings and to keep ourselves accountable during the past few weeks. By doing this, we were able to see who pulled what stick that day and how much money they put into the savings. This inevitably turned into a game where whoever pulled the stick with the lowest amount of money won, because they got to put aside a lesser amount for the day. I have included this chart, which shows an individual day for the past four weeks, along with the amount pulled or saved per person, and what the total was both daily and overall. Overall, this project was successful because we ended up saving money and we were able to create a goal and a plan of action which helped us understand how to save and where our money was really going. Another aspect of this class was the curricular unit we were expected to create. My unit plan is for 11th grade on The Great Gatsby. This unit focuses on the symbolism in The Great Gatsby. This unit plan incorporates a combination of standards, 
the Common Core Standards for English Language Arts for grades 11 through 12, and the California State Standards for History, as well as technology standards that incorporate digital technology into the lesson to better their writing skills as well as their analytical and critical thinking skills. My unit plan also incorporates Bloom's Taxonomy, which is a classification system used to define and distinguish different levels of human cognition. Along with Bloom's taxonomy, I will use Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences to make sure that I reach every child and their own individual learning style. My unit on The Great Gatsby incorporates activities for every learning style to make sure every student is engaged and learning in their own way. The final product for this unit will be the completion of the web quest, which includes a cause and effect chart, a short essay, a Venn diagram, and an argumentative speech that incorporates all aspects of the unit until this point. By incorporating all the multiple intelligences in this unit plan and the assessments, I am confident that my students will succeed with this project and that they will not only remember the material, but will be able to use it to achieve the highest level of learning according to Bloom's taxonomy, which is to take the remembered knowledge and use it to create and evaluate while applying it to other aspects of their lives. Throughout this class, I learned the importance of incorporating technology into my daily lessons not simply as a means to an end, but as a tool to enhance my students' learning and to teach them to think outside of the box. I have also learned that in order to help my students reach Bloom's Taxonomy's highest level of thinking, which is creating, it is imperative to create lessons and assessments that reach all of their multiple intelligences to ensure that every student has an opportunity to learn in their own way. Overall, I am extremely pleased with my experience at Azusa Pacific University and I am so proud of the opportunities it has given me and of my master's and credential degree that I will be completing at the end of this semester.